on the occasion of world mountain day today on 11th december i will focus on trees of the mountains uh all those uh, locations which are above 4000 feet elevation and they experience snowfall mostly they have the conifer trees dominated by the deodar cedrus deodara at lower elevations and silver fir abies pendro at higher locations interspersed between amid these cedars and firs we also find the trees of spruce paisia smithiana even anti cancerous and threatened tree himalayan yew texas valichiana or texas contorta in which case we find male and female trees they are standing apart they are on two individuals the cones basically because it is also a conifer uh if we go to ladakh mountains then we will find the ephedra ephedra gerardiana intermedia but even in kashmir valley at locations like boniar and shankaracharya hill we find these plants in jammu region we can find these at janskar uh, sumcham just after we cross machil temple uh there is another unique west himalayan pine that is called as the chilgoja pine which we find only in padar kishtwad area outside jnk it is also found in pangi in himachal pradesh some plants stands planted in shankaracharya hill uh, pinus gerardiana seed is edible and it is sold in the market uh coming to the flower implants we have the majestic beauty of autumn flowering uh prunus cerasitis or uh, the bird cherry or uh, the himalayan cherry uh himalayan cherry is prunus cerasitis and bird cherry is prunus carnuta prunus carnuta grows at higher elevations and prunus cerasitis also uh, grows in the temperate forest uh, while going to masuri we can see this uh, species uh, flowering during the november december months that is unusual time for flowering but this unique prunus which is sacred and revered by the communities in gadwal and kamau region and there it is called as panya and this particular tree has the aromatic wood which is used in vedic rituals prunus carnuta why it is called carnuta because uh, its uh, fruits get infected with some kind of insect and that uh, results into horn like extensions so a species is named as prunus carnuta usually we find these trees growing in gulmarg pahalgam bhadrava kishtwad area another tree which is unique to the mountains and is very medicinal tree is hawthorn uh, cretigus sungarica locally we call pendak in kishtwad area and uh, ringa by gojars and ringkul by kashmiris and this is the tree which is also protected in the graveyards in kashmir valley its uh, fruits they uh, have the apple like flavor and taste and they, this is the autumn time when they mature and uh, they are eaten by the wildlife and uh, even they are used as cardio tonic very useful against atherosclerosis they can prevent the cardiac arrest even the leaves can be taken and brewed as a herbal tea uh, a very large size uh, cretigus sungarica uh stands uh, located the it's growing near gandhi bhavan university of kashmir and the uh, uh, hawthorns which we find usually in mughal gardens with the red flowers that is the cretigus livicata uh, in the mountains 
the most majestic flower most beautiful flower is the rhododendron flower rhododendron arboreum this is the only tree which grows to a large size and one tree located in nagaland northeast has found its mention in the guinness book of world records because that is more than 100 feet uh, tall and mostly the rhododendrons are the shrubby uh, they are not uh, that uh, tall trees but rhododendron arboreum uh, tree growing in nagaland has uh, been found the largest in the world uh, in jammu and kashmir we find this uh, rhododendron trees uh, growing at dera ki gali even at parogati when we go on pilgrimage to shri mata vaishno devi shrine uh, even uh, at location like lati dhuna sudmahadev chenani area uh, in ramnagar kenta uh, katha kalunta kia chatradi majodi all these locations even samana bunch we find these trees they have the red flowers growing in bunches of 16 18 20 20 flowers each flower is uh, broad bell shaped and uh, scarlet red with 10 stamens this is the only rhododendron which is edible and is made into sharbats even holy color and made into sauces jams and syrups otherwise most of other rhododendrons they have the cyanide compounds and they are not edible high altitude tree which we find in himalayas and it demarcates the tree line is birch tree bitula utilis locally called as bhojpatra or burja in kashmiri this is the tree uh, whose bark we have used for as writing material till 16th century when mughal king akbar introduced modern paper in kashmir valley and uh, neolithic site megalithic site near dachigam is also named after this tree uh, burja as the burja homa and that is the location where this tree has got the name uh, given the name to the location because this was the tree which was used by those uh, early people uh, for uh, uh, making fire also for using it as bandage and for some other purposes this particular tree was predominantly associated with their way of life uh, bhojpatra is called as uh, joj in uh, gurez area where we find very peculiar tree which is edible and these days uh, its fruits are also ripened local uh, people in gurez and tolel they know the tree fruit by the name kanship and this is a very tasty fruit rosaceous fruit and this uh, also need to be i think put under cultivation by the horticulture department uh, another tree which is very useful unique in the mountains is called as the mountain ash uh, one ash tree is fraxinus Uh, hukri locally called as sinu uh, in bhadrawa area so this tree is unique uh, in having very strong wood and uh, other tree which is also known as the rowan or mountain ash sometimes that is basically sorbus acuparia uh, this is uh, the again majestic tree with the uh, red fruits which mature during winter months uh, another tree which is uh, unique to the mountains is the horse chestnut tree asculus indica uh, locally we called ghoo or gugu in uh, jammu bhadrawa area and uh, ban khodi uh, in punch area the same tree uh, asculus indica is called handoon in kashmir in the language of kashmiri and the handoon means hangul ka doon hangul is the red deer uh, variety unique to the dachigam and uh, doon means walnut so this is the tree which is also used as food by the hangul deer cervus canadensis hanglu previously called as cervus elephas hanglu 
uh, along the rivers and uh, streams we find that is the dogwood tree. This is also a tree which is seen at uh, the tourist spots like Nainital, uh, Shimla, Masuri and dogwood tree is basically Cornus macrophylla or Swida macrophylla. Uh, it's another uh, near relative which is called as Benthmedia capitata or also as strawberry tree. Its a fruit is edible. But in this case the flowers are surrounded by white colored bra bracts which provide more gaudy appearance to the flowers in Benthmedia capitata. But in case of Cornus macrophylla they do not have those uh, gaudy bracts. Flowers are simple and this tree is locked as fodder and is locally called as kandar. Another tree which we find in the uh, uh, mountains and lower hills is called as puna or pauna tree or silky ash tree or uh, koda tree. This is Ericia serrata or Ericia acuminata. Its a new spring uh, foliage is harvested by the locals and made into cuisines, especially in the Mashedi area, uh, Ramnagar, uh, Rang, Blant, and uh, Koredi area. Uh, even in uh, Bukori and uh, Buddhal, uh, Rajori area, we find this tree. Another uh, fascinating tree named after uh, Dr. Francis Hamilton is Hamilton's Spindle Tree, uh, locally called as Sakki or Shola in Punch area. And this particular tree is botanically identified as Euonymus Hamiltonianus. During autumn months, when we celebrate the World Mountain Day, usually it has very appealing um, scarlet pink four-lobed fruits, which are mostly sought after by birds and they have the uh, preference for eating such uh, red-colored fruits of Hamil, uh, this uh, species, Euonymus hamiltonianus, locally called as Shul or Shalshatra, Shalshatra in Kashmir. And mostly this tree also stands planted or stands preserved inside the Muslim shrines. Uh, another uh, unique tree of the mountains is the oak. And we have four or uh, five or rather seven different types of oaks in Jammu and Kashmir. Uh, at the lower elevation in Rajori, we see the Quercus glaca, which is a Japanese oak. If we just uh, go on that road towards the uh, Pirki Gali, then we, on the way we will find uh, Quercus leucotrichophora at higher elevations. And then still higher, we will find another Quercus floribunda or Quercus dilatata maru oak. In the locations higher, uh, if we go to Bhadrava area and Seojdhar, uh, just uh, subalpine locations, uh, we find another high altitude oak, which is called the Kharshu oak, uh, Quercus semicarpifolia. If we visit Bhadrava area, which is a dry scrub area, drought prone area, there we find stunted growth of another Quercus, which is called the Holy Oak, Quercus Balut, previously called as Quercus Ilex. Uh, if we just visit uh, Kashmir, especially the Srinagar, in the Gulf uh, course, uh, the Royal Water Spring uh, area, uh, we find another Quercus, which is called as Quercus Subar that is a cork oak. Although it is introduced, it is not native to India. It is uh, introduced from Europe. Another quercus which we find in Dachi Gam and even at Chitanar Forest Training School, Bandipura, that is quercus robur, a ringless oak. Um, likewise, we see uh, these uh, mountains have the uh, trees like uh, elders. Elder is Elnus nitida and this is the nitrogen fixing tree. It has the capability or it can grow in the poor soils or newly denuded soils and it fixes nitrogen with the help of microbe 
called Frankia. And there are bushes also which are nitrogen fixing in the mountains. And one of the bush which is unique to the mountains of Guraj and Kashmir and even at Makarkot we find this shrub. Uh, it is Datesca canavina. Uh, leaves look like uh, cannabis sativa, hemp. So it is also called the false hemp. Uh, but this is Kaudi Kred, another plant, and this is a nitrogen uh, fixing bush. Uh, we need, can uh, change the soil health and soil quality uh, if uh, we grow these plants. Another uh, unique plant which is uh, found, seen in mountains, especially at Masuri, we find this uh, shrub which is called Coriaria napalensis and they, locally called as Masuri. So, legend goes that Masuri got its name uh, after this shrub which grows in abundance in those mountains. It is also found in Jammu and Kashmir, Bani Busuri area, Bhadrava, Ramnagar, Dudu Basandgarh and even in Kashmir, Jabarban Hills. This uh, particular bush have the poisonous uh, seeds and the fleshy uh, perianth is juicy and eaten by the locals. Another unique tree of Kashmir Valley and Jammu and uh, Himachal Pradesh is Parashiopsis Jack Montiana, also called as False Witch Hazel. It has the beautiful flowers. Uh, they have the yellow bricks and flowers are clustered in the center. And this particular tree is so much respected and revered in Kashmir Valley that we find uh, sacred groves of Parashiopsis Jack Montiana in various locations like Chunt Valiwar, uh, at Kangan, at uh, Chandigam in Lola Valley, and even in uh, Batpura, uh, Kopawada, on Bay to Kud uh, Kumkudi. Uh, we have the high mountain. Uh, trees like Pinus valichiana, blue pine also grows in abundance but it has the capacity to even surpass fur also in some locations and it reaches the area where we find even birches. Uh, we have the mango family representatives in the uh, high altitude area. One is Rux, Rus succidania, locally called as Arkhal Arkhoi. Uh, this particular tree is notorious for uh, causing some kind of sense, burning sensation or blisters on the skin if it's uh, rushic acid comes in contact with our skin. Uh, there is another rus which we find in uh, Jammu region that is the rus chinensis or rus samilata locally called as titri and its fruits are used as substitute of Tamarind, another very prominent tree of mountains because today World Mountain Day has focused on the theme uh, biodiversity conservation, protection of biodiversity. Biodiversity which is under threat, which is exploited, over harvested and we need to pass that kind of knowledge to the younger generation on one hand and we need to preserve and conserve various forms of life, especially trees, plants, flowers, and medicinal plants, so that they can meet our future challenges and we can innovate new drugs with the help of genetic uh, engineering and manipulating genes. So one of the tree which is on decline in Jammu and Kashmir is Chikri. This is also seen at uh, Landar Pancheri and uh, also at Samana Banjeria in Ramanagar, Tasil, and also in Thanamandi Rajori, which is called botanically as Boxus Valichiana. So, Valich works wood tree. Leaves are opposite, and wood is very useful in, for ternary making. So, it is usually used in handicrafts, especially at Thanamandi near Chadara Sharif. We find many uh, people who are associated with the woodwork. Uh, would derive from this particular tree but this is under threat and declining in the natural habitat. 
Uh, likewise, we have only one representative of redwood tree in Kashmir, Tangmarg Jarika uh, Forum, owned by the Indian Institute of Integrative Medicine, where we find the single redwood trees, Coyodendron gigantium uh, tree. But since seeds are not viable because no male pollen is available, so no further multiplication could be undertaken. Kashmir, we have the alums also. Uh, botanically called as Almas. We have two species. One is Almas valichiana, which is also known as Kashmir alum, and this is declining, not in large numbers. Here, leaves are much broader. They are doubly serrate, and fruit is samara. Uh, whereas more common uh, alum tree, which we usually find everywhere in shrines and temple complexes in Kashmir Valley and Rajori area, uh, that is called Manu or botanically speaking, another species, uh, Almas velosa. This tree uh, is also uh, restricted to Kashmir. And in fact, uh, Almas valichiana as well as Almas velosa, they are considered to be endemic to the northwestern Himalayas. Uh, we have the poplars. And one of the popular species, Populus uh, alba, that is called a dudfrast in Kashmir. Usually we find in Dachigam forest. In Jammu uh, mountains, we find another uh, poplar which is indigenous, local to our Himalayas. Uh, that is called as Himalayan poplar or popular ciliata. Locally, various uh, names are there. Talunj is one. Badota is also there. Uh, this popular ciliata. Uh, grows in the higher mountains uh, like uh, locations like Dudu Basandgarh, Mashedi, Bani area. In the mountains we have the Punica Grenatum, especially in the Pida area and Batot, uh, Ramban, Chanani Zodham, Dev and its seeds are also medicinal, they are edible and used in local sauce making. Another tree which is peculiar to Jammu and Kashmir mountains is uh, called as uh, Timburu or tooth ache tree because it has the capability to reduce the tooth pain. Uh, it is an aromatic tree from the lemon family Rutaceae and it is a whole uh, filled with uh, prickles, very short prickles, greenish yellow flowers and pinnate leaves and uh, leaves are aromatic but the midrib has the spines underneath. So this particular tree is also unique. It is associated with local culture, uh, local medicine and used in toothpaste. Xanthoxylum uh, armatum. Armatum means it is armed with spines and xanthoxylum means xylem means wood. So the wood of yellow color as we find in Barbarus lyceum also. Barbarous lysium is the mountain shrub which is highly reputed medicinal shrub again spiny uh, and called as Daru Haridra uh, in Sanskrit and locally called we Campbell, Campbelli or Cow Dash in Kashmir. Another uh, sh uh, shrub which we usually find in mountains in the coniferous forests is Bivarnum grandiflorum. So flower is so beautiful, it's called Grandiflorum and then this starts blooming in early spring when mostly other flowers are not there. So the way we uh, have the uh, unique flowering of uh, Prunus sericide during autumn months, that is November, December, likewise we find the flowering in high altitude areas of this Bivernum Grandiflorum and this flowering starts in late February and in March we find plenty of flowers for the honeybees for honey making. This uh, uh, connection with the honeybees was also uh, in the minds of the earlier elders who coined the term in Kashmiri as uh, uh, Kulmansh. Kul means tree and Mansh means honey. Kulmansh is the local Kashmiri name for Bivarnum grandiflorum. Another Bivarnum which we find only in uh, Bani area that is locally called as Salalan. Bakan area we find this and this is the Bivarnum Mulla. 
another uh, high altitude bivarnum we see in kishtwar forest bhadrava even in kashmir that's bivarnum cottony folium uh, not only this we have very unique hackberry trees celtis australis called khadak they are very useful fodder for the cattle and we find in mountains in mountain mountains we also find uh, trees like tona tona ciliata is at lower elevations but tona serrata which is called as dheri or doria this is a tree of mountains and its wood is red colored and this tree is also unique to the mountainous climate another tree which we usually find in mountains uh, especially in the bani area and uh, samana banj area that is called as kafal myrica nagi or myrica esculenta the fruits are edible that they are sold in the market in nanital uh, during uh, april may and we have the wild raspberries in jammu uh, which is yellow raspberry uh, arche or rubus elliptiacus so there is one particular uh, bird which is called the um, short winged himalayan cuckoo uh, cuculus micropterus which is locally named as arche pake or pokepejo uh, these two names exist for the bird and they uh, the same bird is uh, known as kafal pakki in uttarakhand and this particular tree myrica esculenta uh, fruit is associated with the diet of this particular bird pokepejo uh, or uh, kafal pakki thru thru is another uh, kind of barbet but is uh, seen in the high altitude mountain forests and this is called as uh, silopogon silopogon virens great himalayan barbet which is usually calls thru thru when the spring approaches and when there is a rhododendron blossoms all around and it's very fond of visiting the rhododendron blossoms another tree which is usually we find in the mountains is lodra tree a sapphire berry tree lesser known but is a medicinal very important tree this is called as simplocas simplocas paniculata earlier it was called simplocas cretigoides in uttarakhand we find another species simplocas rhesmosa and lodra bark is very uh, useful as medicinal tree apart from these uh, trees and shrubs we find even the annuals we have the violets we have the primroses we have the meadow uh, buttercups so many anemone species uh, even we have the beauty of the flowers like daffodils hirminger yambarzal in kashmiri we call that is narcissus tagita and even marsh marigold kaltha alba or kaltha palustris then the endangered and medicinal marsh orchid or palm orchid dactylorhiza hetegyria then we have even cypripedium we have the habinaria habinaria intermedia is very unique plant and is useful in the ayurvedic formulations a plant of ashtavarga uh, group and even we have the lilium polyphyllum we have the persia trees growing in jammu and kashmir trikota hills we usually find persia dathiai which is aromatic and related to cinnamon we have the tejpatta cinnamon tamala uh, in the forests of jammu and kashmir and uh, we also have other species like new lids ya pelens locally called as sangla or uh, siundi or chunda and uh, even the trees of the family uh, iricaceae to which our rhododendron belongs there is another tree which is lesser known called as the pyrus ovalifolia or lionia ovalifolia we have the unique assemblage of trees called uh, terminalias even terminalia bellerica bahida is also found in the 
lower hills and semal bombax siba species also seen in lower hills uh, pyrus pasia its flowering is also white and fascinating flowering uh, attracts everybody and we have the bushes like cedo caryopteris Uh, then we have the rainbowy indica which uh, blooms golden yellow flowers in early spring then we have so many tulips uh, tulipa stellata is one and so many violas viola odorata is one but at lower elevations we find viola canescens then we have the river spiria sarveria tomentosa when it is in flowering it looks so elegant and charming Uh, we have so many other plants like the musk himalayan musk rose uh, locally called as kreer uh, rosa uh, bruno nai rosa masketa in the ladakh uh, arid cold desert we find rosa babiana uh, importing its red pink color to the dull and drab landscape of ladakh likewise we have so many codonaphs species in ladakh and in jammu region we have so many other plants like silene conidea during the winter uh, months we can see it growing beside the wheat fields we have the kankoli called ban kanak because this uh, particular tree uh, is having the fruit which just look like wheat grains that is lagnus umbellata or lagnus parvifolia we have introduced uh, mahua tree in jammu it doesn't grow naturally here madhuka langifolia latifolia but the other uh, unique olive species we find we, we have the unique uh, olea ferruginea uh, olea cuspidata in the chenab valley and olea paniculata or glandulifera locally called as neelan in the rang bland forests of ramnagar we have the frey or fro that is grevia uh, sapida we have tamman which is called as uh, grevia optiba apositifolia very useful tree of the mountain so on the mountain day let us know our biodiversity and try to utilize the resource sustainably so that it lasts for the future generations and uh, as the exercise for the people's biodiversity register is also in progress in jammu and kashmir let panchayats and other experts uh, who are uh, formulating the, the pbrs people's biodiversity register they uh, include this unique identity and uh, unique diversity of plants which have all local uh, language names and they vary from region to region but all this variation Uh, in names and variation of plants and species it need to be documented in people's biodiversity register